Now we are in the, the pre-drying area. This lumber was just cut, but the logs were winter logs. We're very fussy. We cut only winter logs. Now this is really not the high grade lumber necessarily, but we treat it the same. And then anything that does not make for good furniture, we burn in the kiln. So there is nothing wasted. Um, the garbage man, oh, he gets his tin cans and stuff like that. But the sawdust, the shavings, everything is run, used to run the kiln. It also is used to run to heat the shop in the wintertime. And it runs the kiln all summer. Now you will see as we go look in here, this is five quarter material up on top here. That is going to be tabletop material, countertop. Uh, back here is 12 or 8 quarter walnut. This will be used for chair seats and heavier, the heavier items. Over here is oak. This is red oak. Now you notice we seal the ends and we dry it slow. That's very important to slow dry. If you dry it too slow, you'll get mold. And if you dry it too fast, you'll get cracks. Once a piece of wood is cracked, it's permanently cracked. Even though people use filler, that's, there's still the crack is there. The we, I dry it slow enough so that it does not have cracks. And these are, this is walnut again. Uh, but keep in mind, the most important phase of building furniture is drying the lumber. And when we're sticking it like they're doing right here, you want to make sure you keep your sticks in line so that their boards dry flat, that you're not going to have warping. Okay, now we're going to be going into the kiln, which is the next process. This wood will be in this area here for maybe six months or more. Uh, I always try to give it plenty of time because keep in mind, there is no shortcut to quality. You know, people try to hurry up, but then they wish they hadn't later. But many people never meet their customer. We keep meeting their customer and keep meeting their friends. So when you do that, you want to do it right. And we're always out to better ourselves. In fact, I didn't tell you before, but our slides that we use in our drawers, they're all full extension. You see the full drawer. Everything is out in the open. Um, we're always out to better ourselves. I didn't tell you on the chairs. Maybe I'll get to show you on that. But we have a steel reinforced uh, rung tenons on there to eliminate any breakage. So we're going to go move into to the kiln from here. Welcome now to the kiln. This is where the most important phase of building furniture takes place. When I bring it from the pre-dryer down here, it's about 20-24% moisture. But then I bring it in here and then I dry it down to 7 or 8%. Now these are pieces that were in here in the pre-dryer and then in the kiln here. Now I've had these in my hands for around two years. And as you see this pile here is I've been selecting out of here. I've actually come up with my most recent design, which is a slab chair. It's a three-legged chair. It's the kind of chair you sit by the campfire. You can sit on an uneven surface. It'll never rock because it's three-legged. And I'll show you that a bit later. Uh, but I've designed, and you know, I guess what we have, we're building today, a lot of it was designed many years ago, but I'm still designing, and my men are constantly designing. They have been trained under me, and they actually have trained each other. Uh, really, what we have learned, what I'm putting to practice here, a lot of this stuff I learned from old craftsmen that I picked their mind, you know, uh, over the years, and I put it to practice. To me, I've always got to figure out what makes things tick. And so I now have to train, and I've trained the others, and they are now able to do that. You can come in with your ideas and your dreams, and we'll make them come true. Okay, as you see, there's some actually, there's some eight quarter poplar uh, that I've had in my hands in many years. I'm just acclimating it in here. Back there, there's more walnut. There's roughly 40,000 feet of lumber in here of all different qualities. This is something, the cross cuts, I did that many years ago now. I'm just sort of reviving that again. You'll see three-legged stools with the bark on. In fact, 
A reason I do tours like this, I am trying to inspire young people, particularly, that you have a gift. Develop it. Uh, because there is a market for that kind of stuff today. Uh, people are sort of getting tired of the mass-produced stuff. This is not mass-produced. This is built with you in mind. This, a lot of the stuff we build, there's only one of a kind. Like these chairs here that I'm going to be building out of here. Every chair will be different, as you will see. Okay, we'll move now up into the shop to see the furniture being built. 